everybody, it's Mr. Pick, Pick Picks here, and today's video is going to be different types of guinea pig breeds and hair patterns. So, all of these are from, I forget the website, I printed this out such a long time ago. Um, if I remember, I'll put the link down below, but, um, I got it from that website, and it's a really good website, I think it might be guinea pig links. I don't think it is though. But yeah, here's just a quick overview. And there's just a second page if I can turn it. There we go. So I'm just gonna go through each of these one by one. So first is the Abyssinian. So basically what I call an Abyssinian is I think of Laura Piggy Pig Pigs, um, guinea pig fozzy. <laughs> But my definition of an Abyssinian is a guinea pig with short tassels of curly hair that like come from all around its body. But on the sheet it says the Abyssinian, Abbey or Abbey, it's spelled two different ways, is one of the oldest breeds of guinea pigs. It is recognized by the symmetrical rosette, hair ra radiating symmetrically from a center an erect ridge patterns on its body and head this is really hard language the numbers of rosettes can vary but to be shown an abbey must have at, at least eight ten are preferred and these must be clearly defined the abyssinian also has a mustache and raised fur around its nose the fur is coarse and is found in the multiple colors and color combinations next is the abyssinian satan um on here it says the abyssinian satan has the same appearance as an abyssinian but with the satan sheen for its fur um and then it just basically says the rest is the abyssinian um next is the american um the american basically to me is skit it's just a short haired guinea pig with multiple patterns and not the softest but really cute the american satan is basically the same it just has the coat is dense fine and soft with a glossy sheen next is the coronet i have never heard of the coronet but it says the coronet is a long haired breed with a single rosette at the top of the head the hair from the rosette to the rump is long without a part it has a Roman nose. Well, that sounds really cute, actually. I've never heard of it before, though. Sorry, but this must be really boring. You're just looking at Skit's cage that's empty. Well, Skit's not. He's just sleeping right now. I don't know if you can see him. But he has, like, his little leg down right there. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> um, next is the Peruvian. Oh, he just got up. <laughs> um, I'm sure if all of you have... Um, you know, heard of the Peruvian. The Peruvian was the first recognized long-haired breed. It's noted for long, dense, soft sweeps of hair that can grow to over a foot in length. Um, basically just says um, that it grows all over the body, covering the head, giving the animal a clear, circular appearance when viewed from the top. It says that they need regular grooming, and because of the amount, this breed is not recommended for a pet and yep next is the peruvian satan basically the same thing but the coat has a glossy sheen and feels like satan to the touch next is the silky um the silky called the shelty in england it was originally called the angora it is a long-haired guinea pig but unlike the peruvian there is no long frontal sweep of hair that covers the face instead the hair sweeps back from the head forming a mane and there's no part down the back. When viewed from above, the silky appears tear-shaped. The hair is softer, finer, and tends to be shinier than the Peruvian. As with the Peruvian, the coat needs daily grooming and the hair is wrapped to keep it clean and tangle-free. I didn't know that that was called the Angora because Piggles2810 still calls it the Angora and I'll actually inform her that it's now called the Silky. Next is the Silky Satan, basically the same thing. The coat has a glossy sheen and feels like Satan to the touch. This is the Teddy, which is one of the guinea pigs I've been looking at getting. Um, no, actually, that's the Textel, which is next. 
The teddy has a short, wiry, dense coat. The hairs and even the whiskers are kinked. Oh, that sounds really cute. The coat, <laughs> the coat is resilient, meaning it returns to its original position after being disturbed. The body of the teddy is similar to the American in length and has a Roman nose. It's obviously the teddy Satan, basically the same thing. Has a Satan sheen, a well, glossy sheen, and feels like Satan to the touch. Next is the textile. Um, this is one I've been looking at getting. There's this person who has four guinea pigs, but she can only keep three. I don't know why. But she's looking to give it up with a person with another guinea pig. So I've been looking at him, and I haven't asked my mom yet, but I'm thinking about it. He's really cute. Um, I may add a picture at the end if you want to see him. Basically, the textile has long, thick, soft hair that forms ringlets or curls over the entire belly, even the uh, over the entire body, even the belly. The body is short and compact, and the head is broad and well-rounded. Because the hair is both the hair is both long and curly, this bird is the most difficult to keep well-groomed. Yes, I do realize that. <laughs> Next is the white crested. The white crested has a short, smooth coat with distinctive white circular rosette at the top of its forehead. Except for the crest, there should be no other white spots on this animal. There are many color varieties, but cannot include Dalmatian, Himalayan, Dutch, Roan, or Tortoiseshell, and white, or other varieties, which have some white hair on elsewhere on the body. That sounds actually really cool. Um, then there's also some other varieties in addition to breeds. There are many color varieties of guinea pigs including there's the whoa that looks really bad. <laughs> I'm not going to even show you that. Self which is a solid color. Dutch colored heads with white blaze. Front half of the body white and near rear half of the body. Same color as head. It. I have no idea. The brindle, um, intermingling of two taller colors, one dark and one light, appearing consistently all over the body. And there's the tortoiseshell, well-defined rectangular patches of black and red, similar in size and distributed evenly and uniformly. Oh, uniformly, <laughs> all over the body without running together. There's also the tortoiseshell white, um, basically the same thing as the tortoiseshell with, um, except with the white intermingled in it. There's also roan, darker hairs, black or red, intermixed evenly with white hairs. There's the agui, or agouti. I don't know what that says. Uh -huh. Alternate dark and light bands of color on each hair. Colors include silver and gold, and that actually sounds really cool. That would look so cool on a guinea pig. <laughs> also the albino, albino, which I'm sure all of you know about, which is pure white with pink eyes. There's also the Dalmatian, white body with dark spots, and the Himalayan, which has a white body with brown or black nose, ears, and feet, and red eyes. So yeah, guys, I may be adding a picture at the end to the guinea pig that I really want. Um, I'm not sure, though, if the picture has writing on it. There's Skit. He's getting a lot better with taming. So, yep, um, I may be adding pictures too of these guinea pigs, um, just so you know what they look like. So yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe, request, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Took your heart.